For generations, your family, the Kuzlans, has stewarded the lands of Hyava, earning the loyalty of your people with justice and temperance. When your country was occupied by the Arlesian Empire, your father and grandfather served the embattled kings of your land. Today, your elder brother takes up House Kuzlan's banner in service to the crown, not against the men of Orlais, but against the bestial darkspawn rising in the south. I trust then that your troops will be here shortly. I expect they will start arriving tonight, and we can march tomorrow. I apologize for the delay, my lord. This is entirely my fault. No, no. The appearance of the Darkspawn in the south has us all scrambling, doesn't it? I only received the call from the king a few days ago myself. I'll send my eldest off with my men. You and I will ride tomorrow just like the old days. True. Though we both had less grey in our hair then. And we fought all lesions, not monsters. <laughs> At least the smell will be the same. I'm sorry, Pop, I didn't see you there. How? You remember my daughter? I see she's become a lovely young woman. Pleased to see you again, my dear. My son Thomas asked after you. Perhaps I should bring him with me next time. Ha! <laughs> to what end, she says. So glib, too. She's just like her mother when she talks like that. See what I contend with, Hal? There is no telling my fierce girl anything these days. Make her bless her heart. Quite talented, I'm sure. One to watch. At any rate, Pop, I summoned you for a reason. While your brother and I are both away, I'm leaving you in charge of the castle. Now, that's what I'd like to hear. Only a token force is remaining here, and you must keep peace in the region. You know what they say about mice when the cat is away, yes? There's also someone you must meet. Please, show Duncan in. It is an honor to be a guest within your hall, Tyrn Kuzland. Your Lordship, you didn't mention that a Grey Warden would be present. Duncan arrived just recently. Unannounced. Is there a problem? Of course not. But a guest of this stature demands certain protocol. I am at a disadvantage. We rarely have the pleasure of seeing one in person, that's true. Pup, Brother Aldous taught you who the Grey Wardens are, I hope. I apologize, Duncan. That Aldous has nerve teaching my children such slanderous nonsense. I take no offense. The Grey Wardens are not what we once were. I'll not have the Wardens spoken ill of in my household. Without them, the Darkspawn would have killed us all in the first blight. You are the only reason men still live in Thedas. Duncan is looking for recruits before joining us and his fellow Wardens in the south. I believe he's got his eye on Sir Gilmore. If I might be so bold, I would suggest that your daughter is also an excellent candidate. Honor though that might be, this is my daughter we're talking about. Do you hear that, Duncan? My daughter is not interested. So unless you intend to invoke the right of conscription... Have no fear. While we need as many good recruits as we can find, I have no intention of forcing the issue. Pup, can you ensure that Duncan's requests are seen to while I'm gone? In the meantime, find Fergus and tell him to lead the troops to Ostagar ahead of me. You'll have plenty of time after we're gone. We must discuss the battle plans in the south. Be a good lass and do as I've asked. We'll talk soon. Is there really going to be a war, Papa? Will you bring me back a sword? That sword, Oren. And I'll get you the mightiest one I can find, I promise. I'll be back before you know it. I wish victory was indeed so certain. My heart is disquiet. Don't frighten the boy, love. I speak the truth. And here's my little sister to see me off. Now dry your eyes, love, and wish me well. He is as mortal as anyone, despite his refusal to believe. Now, love, no need to be grim. If it's any consolation, 
I'm sure I'll freeze in the southern rain and be completely jealous of you up here, warm and safe. I am positively thrilled that you will be so miserable, husband. Really? Was he riding a griffin? Shh, Oren. Griffins only exist in stories now. I'd heard that. Did he say why he's come? Oh, if I were a Grey Warden, little sister, I'd have my eye on you. Not that father would ever allow it. I wish you could come. It'll be tiring killing all those darkspawn myself. In Antiva, a woman fighting in battle would be... unthinkable. Is that so? I always heard Antivan women were quite dangerous. With kindness and poison only, my husband. This from the woman who serves me my tea. <laughs> Word from the south is that the battles have gone well. There's no evidence that this is a true blight, just a large raid. Could that be true? I'll see for myself soon enough. Pray for me, love, and I'll be back within a month or two. Then the Isle's men are delayed. You'd think his men were all walking backwards. Well, I'd better get underway. So many darks born to be ahead, so little time. Off we go then. I'll see you soon, my love. I would hope, dear boy, that you plan to wait for us before taking your leave. Be well, my son. I will pray for your safety every day you are gone. I keep telling you, no Darkspawn will ever best me. The Maker sustain and preserve us all. Watch over our sons, husbands and fathers, and bring them safely back to us. And bring us some ale and wenches while you're at it. Uh, for the men, of course. Fergus, you would say this in front of your mother? What's a wench? Is that what you pull on to get the bucket out of the well? A wench is a woman that pours the ale in a tavern, Oren. Or a woman who drinks a lot of ale. Bryce, make us breath. It's like living with a pair of small boys. Thankfully, I have a daughter. I'll miss you, mother dear. You'll take care of her, sister, won't you? Oh, good. How thrilling to know I'm so well taken care of. <laughs> enough, <laughs> enough. Pup, you'll want to get an early night. You've much to do tomorrow. My lady, help me! The castle is under attack! We must not exhaust our supplies! Fighting outside, and I feared the worst. Are you hurt? A scream woke me up. There were men in the hall, so I barred the door. Did you see their shields? Those are Hal's men. Why would they attack us? You don't think Hal's men were delayed? On purpose? That bastard. I'll cut his lying throat myself. Have you seen your father? He never came to bed. We must find him. I most certainly will not. I am no Orlesian wallflower. Give me a sword and I'll use it. Now let's go.
Perhaps we can salvage some things here. Darling, some of your father's belongings are in that trunk. Slaughter's innocence. Fo is not even taking hostages. He means to kill all of us. Oh, poor Fergus. Let's go. I don't want to see this. come to me if she hadn't been here can you hear the fighting house men must be everywhere don't be foolish you would throw your life away the front gates that's where your father must be listen darling we haven't much time if we can't find your father, you must get out of here alive. Without you and Fergus, the entire Kusen line dies here. If Howe's men are inside, they must already control the castle. We must use the servants entry in the larder to escape. Do you hear me? Then survive and visit vengeance upon him. As you We're say. getting close to the treasury. The Kuzlan family blade lies inside. Here, darling, take my key. That blade cannot fall into Howe's hands. It should sever his treacherous head. I shall do it. Very well. Go, man the gates. Keep those bastards out as long as you can. Your ladyship, my lady, you're both alive. I was certain Howe's men had gotten through. They killed Oriana and Oren. I can't believe. Are you injured? Don't worry about me, your ladyship. Thank the Maker, you two are unharmed. When I realized what was happening, it was all I could do to shut the gates. But they won't keep Hellsmen out long. If you've another way out of the castle, use it quickly. I've no idea. You don't think he's involved in this, do you? Perhaps he was sent to kill Bryce? Oh dear. Have you seen him? When I last saw the turn, he'd been badly wounded. I urged him not to go, but he was determined to find you. He went towards the kitchen. I believe he thought to find you at the servant's exit in the larder. Bless you, Sir Gilmore. Make her watch over you. Make her watch over us all. There, you both are. I was... Bryce! ...wondering when you would get here. Maker's blood, what's happening? You're bleeding! Howl's men... ...found me first. Almost... ...did me in right there. He can't... ...get away with this! The King will... Bryce... ...we must get you out of here. I... I won't survive the standing, I think. Ah, oh, my darling girl. If only Will could make it so. Once Hal's men break through the gate, they will find us. We must go! Someone... must reach Fergus. Tell him what has happened. Yes. Vengeance. Bryce, no. 
The Servant's Passage is right here. We can flee together, find you healing magic. The castle is surrounded. I cannot make it. I'm afraid the turn is correct. Howe's men have not yet discovered this exit, but they surround the castle. Getting past will be difficult. You are Duncan, then? The Grey Warden? Yes, your ladyship. The turn and I tried to reach you sooner. My daughter helped me get here. Make her be praised. I am not surprised. I did not wish to leave your father alone. Whatever is to be done now, it must be quick. They are coming. Duncan, I beg you. Take my wife and daughter to safety. I will, your lordship. But I fear I must ask for something in return. Anything. What is happening here pales in comparison to the evil now loose in this world. I came to your castle seeking a recruit. The Darkspawn threat demands that I leave with one. I... I understand. Then what else? How will you survive? I will take the Tirna and your daughter to Ostagar to tell Fergus and the King what happened. Then your daughter joins the Grey Wardens. So long as justice comes to how. I agree. Then I offer you a place within the Grey Wardens. Fight with us. We will inform the King, and he will punish how. I am sorry, but a Grey Warden's duties take precedence even over vengeance. How thinks he'll use the chaos to advance himself? Make him wrong, pup. See that justice is done. Our family always does our duty first. The Darkspawn must be defeated. You must go, for your own sake and for Ferelden's. We must leave quickly then. Bryce, are you sure? Our daughter will not die of Hal's treachery. She will live and make her mark on the world. Darling, go with Duncan. You have a better chance to escape without me. Eleanor. Hush, Bryce. I'll kill every bastard that comes through that door to buy them time. But I won't abandon you. My place is with your father. At his side, to death and beyond. I'm... so sorry it's come to this, my love. We had a good life, and did all we could. It's up to our children now. Then go, pup. Warn your brother. You know that we love you both. You do us proud. They've broken through the gates. We must go, now. Goodbye, darling. We will be traveling south through the hinterlands to the ruin of Ostagar, on the edges of the Korkari Wilds. The Tevinter Imperium built Ostagar long ago, to prevent the Wilders from invading the northern lowlands. It's fitting we make our stand here, even if we face a different foe within that forest. The King's forces have clashed with the Darkspawn several times, but here is where the bulk of the Horde will show itself. There are only a few Grey Wardens within Ferelden at the moment, but all of us are here. This blight must be stopped, here and now. If it spreads to the north, Ferelden will fall. Ho oh there, Duncan. King Caelan. I didn't expect a... A royal welcome? I was beginning to worry you'd miss all the fun. Not if I could help it, Your Majesty. Then I'll have the mighty Duncan at my side in battle after all. Glorious. The other wardens told me you'd found a promising recruit. I take it this is she? Allow me to introduce you, Your Majesty. No need, Duncan. You are Bryce's youngest, are you not? I don't think we've ever actually met. Your brother has already arrived with High Ever's men, but we are still awaiting your father. Dead? What do you mean? Duncan, do you know anything about this? Terran Kuzland and his wife are dead, Your Majesty. Arl Howe has shown himself a traitor and overtaken High Ever Castle. Had we not escaped, he would have killed us 
and told you any story he wished. I can scarcely believe it. Well, how could he think he could get away with such treachery? As soon as we are done here, I will turn my army north and bring Hao to justice. You have my word. No doubt you wish to see your brother. Unfortunately, he and his men are scouting in the wilds. We are all in danger, my friend. Nothing can be done until your brother returns, and that will not be until the battle is over. I apologize, but there's nothing more I can do. All I can suggest is that you vent your grief against the Darkspawn for the time being. I'm sorry to cut this short, but I should return to my tent. Loghain waits eagerly to bore me with his strategies. Your uncle sends his greetings and reminds you that Redcliffe forces could be here in less than a week. Ha! <laughs> Eamon just wants in on the glory. We've won three battles against these monsters, and tomorrow should be no different. I'm not even sure this is a true blight. There are plenty of Darkspawn on the field, but alas, we've seen no sign of an Archdemon. Disappointed, Your Majesty? I'd hoped for a war like in the tales. A king riding with the fabled Grey Wardens against a tainted god. But I suppose this will have to do. I must go before Loghain sends out a search party. Farewell, Grey Wardens. What the king said is true. They've won several battles against the Darkspawn here. True. Despite the victory so far, the Darkspawn horde grows larger with each passing day. By now, they look to outnumber us. I know there is an arch demon behind this, but I cannot ask the king to act solely on my feeling. Yet not enough to wait for reinforcements from the Grey Wardens of Orlais. He believes our legend alone makes him invulnerable. Our numbers in Ferelden are too few. We must do what we can and look to Terran Loghain to make up the difference. To that end, we should proceed with the joining ritual without delay. Feel free to explore the camp here as you wish. All I ask is that you do not leave it for the time being. There is another Grey Warden in the camp by the name of Alistair. When you're ready, seek him out and tell him it's time to summon the other recruits. Your hound can stay with me while I attend to some business. The Grey Warden tent is on the other side of this bridge. You will find us there should you need to. <laughs> 